Hey guys, it's Keaton from Full Frame Outdoors. Gonna go through uh, what you'll receive from us as well as how to get it installed on your phone, your binos, and your spot and scope. First off, we have a Scout. This is a magnetic optics adapter. And so we've got three magnets and then a, an adjustment knob here. And we have an internal slider. This internal slider is really cool because we designed it so you can take it from your binos and then adjust it back out, put it right on your spot and scope and you're still good to go. Uh, then inside this alignment tool is what we call the nanner. This is a little metal piece that's going to stick on the back of your phone or phone case. And it allows you to not have to get a new phone case. And so you can run your phone exactly how you have it right now. Uh, this little wood piece is our alignment tool. It's going to uh, align the center of your camera to the center of your optics so you get a perfect picture. And then lastly is an alcohol prep pad to wipe down your phone case. So your phone case, you're going to want to make sure uh, you have a hard plastic phone case. Uh, the tape that is used on the manner does not stick very well to the silicone texture. And you'll want to make sure there's not too much texture uh, on the back of your phone case as well. The more contact, the better. And now we'll get uh, it set up on your phone. And for the, Sam the newer Samsungs at least, we have this like uh, focus enhancer down the bottom left corner. We'll want to turn that off and to get it to show up. Usually you just tap your screen and it pops up. And for iPhones, I'm not sure what it's called, but I know it's a little flower icon uh, in the bottom left hand screen. You'll tap that to turn it off as well. Again, 1X is where we want it. Uh, how this works is we are going to align the hole that is in the alignment tool to the camera that our phone uses on 1X. So if you don't know which camera that is, that's fine. We can go through and uh, figure out which camera that's gonna be. Let's go photo. Again, make sure your camera's on 1X and I'm just gonna cover each one of my cameras one at a time. And so right now, I am covering my bottom camera. As you can see, my bottom camera is covered. I'm gonna move up to my middle camera. You can see it's covered. And then my top camera, it's covered and you wouldn't know it. So we know that I'm gonna to want to align the hole with my middle camera. So that's gonna look something like that. Uh, the actual alignment of the Scout, or the, uh, the Manor, is totally up to you. Uh, I do have some preferences on where it goes. Uh, you can, on these side cameras, you can run it off to the side, or you can run it down at a 45. I have found I prefer to run it down at a 45 degree angle. Uh, from my camera, whatever camera that is. And then if you do have a camera that's in the center, I typically, you know, if the camera was right here, I would run it right there just in the center of the phone. So we'll do a few practice runs uh, before we actually pull the backing off the tape. So what this is gonna look like from your camera, again, on 1X, I like to put the grids up, kind of helps me align it better. And right there, you can see that's pretty stinking good. Let's get my fingers aligned so I can press the tape as if I was doing it for reals. All right, about there looks good for me. And then for you guys, what that look like, my hand placement is something like this. I'm gonna just press in. And the reason we're able to slide around uh, on the phone case, we'll take the tape off to show you, is the alignment tool is a little bit thicker than the nanner and tape. And so you can set it on there and slide it around, it's not gonna stick until you apply pressure to the nanner and stick it on your phone case. So I'm doing it for real this time. We'll stick this thing on there. All right. Okay, so that looks pretty And take your time, you only got one chance at this, so make sure it's right. This looks good for me. I'm applying pressure with my index fingers. It 
it's stuck on there. We'll flip it over. A good bit of pressure. And then you can just lift this straight off. And your manner is now attached to your phone. I do recommend giving this a few hours to adhere to your phone case. Uh, it does take a full 24 hours to cure. Uh, the magnets are quite strong. Uh, and so if you do put it on there right after you put the tape on, uh, you're at jeopardy of pulling the manner off of your phone case. And now we will get uh, the scout set up on a spot and scope. This is how I have my spot and scope uh, in my backpack. The scout is going to just be around the neck of it loosely. I like to keep it there because then it's ready to go. As soon as I get my spot and scope out, I can just slide my scout up tighten it down, and then I'm ready to slap my phone on. For this though, we'll slide it off. You can see that the slider adjustment is all the way in, and that's where it's gonna be on most spotting scopes. There are gonna be a few out there though that will require you to put the slider out a little bit. And what causes that is the diameter of the eyepiece is gonna be a little bit smaller. The slider is primarily designed for binoculars, but it works for the spotting scopes also. So to get it on there, you want your eyepiece all the way out. Let's slide that over. It does need to be snug, but you don't have to reef on it. And then you'll want the band and your scout nice and flush with the eyepiece of your uh, spotter. And then once you have it like that, you're ready to attach your phone. The way this nano is set up on the phone, we'll want it twisted down a little bit. Slap it on there, and you're ready to go. You can see the picture is nice and centered uh, on the phone screen. That allows us just to zoom into 2X, gets away of all that uh, black shading. Let's say you have a spotting scope that does have a smaller diameter on it. This picture is gonna be offset one way or another. And so you, what you wanna do is pull your phone off, and spin the adjustment knob, give it a few turns. And what that's doing, it's pushing the slider out and moving the magnets away from the center of your spot and scope. And then put your phone back on there. It's gonna be a little bit better and see if you need to adjust it out further or a little bit more in and you're ready to go. All right, so now we're going to get the Scout set up on binos. If you're like us, we primarily run our binos the majority of the time. And so I like to be able to leave my scout on my binos or clip to my bino harness so it can easily go on or off. Uh, so then when I do pull up my binos and I wanna look through it with my phone, I can just slap my phone on there really quickly. Uh, there is a little bit of fine tuning and I'll show you how guys how to get that set up because once it's set up once, it'll stay there and it can easily go on and off. So we'll reset this back as if it were to just come off my spot and scope, which is all the way recessed back and it'll be pulled out a little bit like this. So it just, we'll say it just came off my spot and scope. I'll just adjust this a little ways out and then I'll slide it on my binos. Adjust the slider out a little bit. Make sure the scout is flush with the eyepiece and then clip your phone on there helps if we pop that off. Oh, and we're good to go. And so you can fine tune this though with the slider. I'm screwing it in more and so you can see, I'm not really able to see much. I'm getting a lot of haze on that right side. I'm gonna screw it back out. And then we're back into the clear. So once it is adjusted like this, it'll stay right here. You can either slide it on or off, or you can leave it right here in glass like this. And that's how you get it set up on your binos.